Emma and I are at Tate for breakfast. Happy fall. Happy Sunday. I was having a smoked salmon craving and I got the, it's like an avocado smoked salmon breakfast sandwich, but they also have an avocado tartine with smoked salmon, like an avocado toast type thing, but they were out of sourdough and that's my favorite. Like I was craving it. I was craving so, I know, and they don't have sourdough, I was really sad. But we're at Tate in the South End. So cute. Good morning, you guys. Just got ready to go to a workout. I'm really excited because I didn't work out last week because I hurt my leg. So I'm going back and starting working out again this week. And I just got a package in the mail from Amazon, which I ordered a new box of these electrolytes, which I just put one into my water. These are my favorite to work out with. Like, and I like to have one every single day just because they're really good for hydration. They don't have sugar. Um, and they just have like really clean ingredients versus what's the other one called? Liquid IV. I know liquid IV doesn't have that good of ingredients. Just because I worked at the dietitian a few years ago and she recommended those to me a while ago. So I've been drinking them ever since and I love them. Also, my camera's blinking at me. I need to change my battery. I'm heating up a couple pieces of bacon <laughs> to have before my workout, but I wanted to have a little coffee before like on my ride there and Emma told me to get these lattes from Whole Foods. They have really good ingredients as well. That's what's in them if you want to pause and read that. But I also, bless you, bless you big boy. But I also got another latte, which is this one right here, the matcha green tea. And I was thinking, should I have the matcha or should I have the vanilla and I feel like I'm in the mood for the vanilla latte right now so I'm gonna save the matcha one for later but I do need ice These vanilla lattes are so good. I highly recommend, but this is a little outfit of the day. My full outfit is aloe. I'm obsessed with these pants because they have like mesh all down the side. And then my shoes are from APL. Yeah, and then jacket is aloe as well. And then this is just a little by far bag. And I'm actually so scared to drive right now because I haven't driven my car in a couple of days since I went to the grocery store to get food the other day and then I also got a bunch of like pumpkins and plants to put on the front steps and as I was loading them in my car there was a massive black spider inside the plant and it jumped out and it's in my car somewhere and I don't know where it is so I'm like terrified to drive right now to the workout um, but Wish me luck because I have no other choice, but it's freaking me out. <laughs> yesterday like my upper body my chest is so sore and um, I don't know I have a lot to do today though I need to clean and organize my closet because I want to just like get rid of a bunch of stuff and also it's like fall now so I need to put away all of my summer clothes and dresses which I'm gonna go do that because I have boxes of my winter clothes downstairs in the car 
So I'm gonna go get those, bring them in, and then we're gonna organize my closet today. So this is what we're working with right now. I have a pile of stuff right here that I want to sell. I just have like, well, some of it's stuff I'm selling, like I'm not selling these right here, but I do, and not my Soul Cycle shoes. Um, I do want to sell, which <laughs> I feel like I'm just parting ways with my Yeezys, my Yeezy collection. I feel like um, that chapter of my life is over. So I'm going to sell these. I just have like heels, a bag that I'm going to get rid of. And stay tuned because I'm going to be posting a lot on my Poshmark coming up. But this is what my closet kind of looks like. I just have like random shoes. And then also I have like jeans and sweatshirts just like thrown in here. I need to go through and try on my clothes because... I also have a bunch of pants and stuff that I just don't know how they fit and honestly I buy clothes especially jeans that are just like too big for me and I don't know why I don't know if it's like I think that I'm bigger <laughs> than I actually am but if it's not like fitting me right I'm gonna get rid of it so we're gonna kind of like go through all that stuff like I said I just have a bunch of dresses and stuff right here that are summer that I want to put away for the season and store those in the basement and just go through everything that I have get it organized and then I also have this little closet right here which is my coat closet well I have like leather jackets blazers and then all my bags right here I'm also going to be posting some bags on Poshmark as well I just want to go through and just pick out any bags that I'm like, you know what, I haven't worn this in a while, I'm not going to wear it, and I just need to sell them because, honestly, I was like, I'm going to save them for when I have a daughter, and they're going to be vintage, and blah, 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 but realistically, like, I don't know, I feel like I just need to sell them and get rid of them. I can't be, like, holding on to stuff <laughs> that I just think will be, like, cute and vintage 20 years from now. So... Yeah, I think it's going to have to do with like a lot of my like colorful bags down here just because I'm like really sick of this Balenciaga bag and also I'm really sick of that green Prada <laughs> and uh, I just like can't look at it anymore. Then also over here, I just have a bunch of stuff I need to put away like sweatshirts and random jackets and stuff that I just brought upstairs. So we're just going to get organized and I also want to organize my makeup. I have to clean my makeup brushes, which are underneath in this cabinet. But I want to like get all my makeup and stuff organized. I still have it in boxes downstairs in the office. And I need to start figuring out... Oh, hi. How are you? <laughs> I need to start figuring out office situation because i want to go ahead and get that set up now that i'm like officially unpacked and it's been it'll be two weeks tomorrow since the move and i feel like i'm finally just like getting over all of like just the exhaustion and everything that i've had to do i feel like it's been a very like busy past two weeks and i'm just excited now to finally like now that i've been living in the space start ordering furniture for the office and also I want to change around the first floor because I have the kitchen table in the area right when you walk in and then next to the kitchen I just kind of have like a random console table and then a bar cart which I want to move because I realized how like not functional the setup is right now which I didn't want to keep it like that anyway I did want to I need to put you guys down because my arm is literally tired um, I did want to switch up that area because I have the couch, my big cloud couch in the basement, which I didn't want that on the first floor anyway, just because that couch is very loungy and I want to keep it in the basement because that's where the TV is. It's kind of like a TV, like media, just like hangout room. And I wanted the cloud down there because it's like super slouchy and it's like the type of thing where you have to fluff it all the time in order for it to look good and 
that area is just kind of like for hanging out and then i'm gonna make the other half of the basement a gym which is gonna be coming actually in the next hopefully next few weeks we can start that process i want to like order a bunch of stuff on amazon like mats and then also i'm going to be getting a soul cycle bike and i am very very excited because i want to start doing at home classes again and um just be able to like do pilates on the mat and stuff downstairs while i am home because i'm going to be working out with mike two times a week and then on my off days i'll just like do an at-home workout or something but yeah that's my plan for down there oh and what i was saying before is that i want to change up the first floor where the kitchen is and i want to look into getting a small rectangular dining table i saw all of you guys' comments about doing like a breakfast nook and having like an l-shaped like bench area with like a little table but the problem is is that i have my chairs already and they're like my favorite chairs in the whole world they're like my dream chair i've wanted them for so long the chairs that i have at my dining table right now and i don't want to get rid of those i have nowhere else to put them so i'm gonna just get a new dining table sell the one that i have right now and then probably make the area right when you walk in into like a formal living room area i don't know yet which couch i want to get but i do want to get like a sofa and have like maybe two accent chairs and do like cute two um like little coffee tables like the round ones or like the um shaped ones that are kind of just like on a pedestal i want to have like two of them and then just have that be like an area to sit down like i just want to sit down with coffee and like go on my ipad or you know like do work and not have to like go upstairs or go downstairs like just in the morning when i'm going through things or like if friends come over and we're like having a glass of wine and like want to just sit and talk we don't have to go all the way downstairs or anything like that i want to have like a formal living room so i think that's what i'm going to do with that so that is my little update right now okay so we are gonna start the process of cleaning out my closet and uh, yeah okay you guys i like did a little bit of laundry i had like laundry right here i needed to put away i just have to figure out where to put these sweatshirts also i'm out of breath from running up the stairs because i'm leaving right now to go head out i'm just wearing a little sweatshirt biker shorts and some sneakers also absolutely no progress done to my closet because i'm exhausted today and i physically just like don't have the energy to do it and i feel so sick i don't know what it is i feel like nauseous today and just like very out of it and i feel like i've just been like run down like working my body too hard the past couple of weeks and since i moved in and i am exhausted so i didn't do anything to my closet today but i did clean up my car and bring in all the boxes with my winter clothes i just have to still um clean out my closet but we'll do that another day This is gonna be the test. Milo, don't lick my legs. Okay, did you guys just see that piece of toilet paper? Is it still stuck to your little mouth or did it fling off? This is gonna be the test. Did you or did you not take the whole roll of toilet paper and rip it up in the bedroom on the rug? I'm over here getting ready for the day, putting on some body serum and I'm about to put on my lotion, but Someone ran in here and had a piece of toilet paper on their mouth. Excuse you. Let's go see what you did. Oh, oh okay. Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. Huh. 
Huh. Was that you? Did you do that? You're guilty. What should we do about it? What should we do about this? Milo, that's not funny. No. Good morning, okay, officially good morning. I just got ready, I'm going to an event right now on Newberry Street with Emma. There's a, <laughs> there's a store opening, it's by Rito, by Reed, by, by Rito. I don't know how to pronounce it, but they're opening up a store here in Boston. I'm very excited. So today I think it's like the pre-opening and it officially opens tomorrow. So by the time you guys see this, the store will be open. Boston's like opening so many cool stores. We have like all of Seaport, which is getting like so huge. Like there's an Owl store there, there's Levi's. So many stores are opening. I know an Aesop's opening down there. Blue Bottle just opened. And Newberry is opening up a parachute, the bedding that I love. And they just have like some really cool stores coming to Boston. And I'm very excited because this is what Boston deserves is good stores and places just like New York, LA, Chicago, all those other cities. We're finally getting with it. So I'm very excited to go to the store opening. I want to show you guys a little OOTD before I head out. My full outfit, skirt and t-shirt are White Fox Boutique. I have a haul up with them so you guys can check out the haul. I have some really, really cute pieces. And my boots are from Toral. My jacket is Acne Studios. Bag is Bottega. I have on these earrings as well, which are Jenny Bird, and then my glasses are Anine Bing. And then I just did a ponytail because my hair is so dirty. Also, my lip liner is my new favorite. It's Persona Cosmetics in the shade Dusk, and I really am into it. I just did light makeup today. A little bit of Kosas Concealer, Ilia Blush, and um, Mascara, Kosas Eye Gel, <laughs> and say, bronzer mixed with a little bit of light Levy bronzer and that's all I did and then for a gloss I just did summer Fridays this one right here this one's my favorite the vanilla so yeah <laughs> lunch we went to south and buttery got the avocado toast with smoked salmon and i got a latte and a orange juice look how cute emma looks today in her little sweater with her skirt and her platform uggs because she is that girl looking so cute and such a nice day out i'm obsessed you can't have the avocado toast without even though Tabasco, I think, is like really spicy. Mm -hmm. I think Tabasco is like really spicy. Mm -hmm. Like one time I put too much Tabasco on my chipotle bowl and it was really bad. Like I couldn't breathe. 